Hey, what's going on everybody? It is Selly. We are at the New England Boat Show and while I was here, I stopped by the Flying Bridge Marine. They are the HCB Annex for New England and we're going to do a little walkthrough on an HCB boat. You guys have probably seen a lot of these boats on social media, but you haven't seen a lot of them up in New England. So we're going to meet up here with Paul and we are going to go do a little walkthrough and he's going to kind of show us some of the cool features on board this boat. So why don't you tell us what boat, first of all, we're jumping on and what we've got going on here. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you guys. Um, so we're on the HCB 42 Luho. This one is in uh, steel blue and it's got the quad 450 Yamaha power pack. So with this kind of power, what kind of performance should we be expecting with this? We're expecting a cruise in the 40s and then a top end around 65, 66. Uh, you get about 415 miles range. Very nice. So with that kind of range, with this for New England, I think it's important to note that this is still a deep V haul. This is not a stepped haul, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Not joking around at all. It's a true deep V and it's uh, about 24,000 pounds displacement. So it's a beast. Awesome. So let's go ahead. Let's talk about some of the features on here. I know that this boat comes equipped in this case. On this one, we've got the aft seating here. That's an option on this boat, but you can do live wells back there as well, right? Yeah, absolutely. So this boat we spec'd out with the transom sleigh seat, but obviously, you know, you don't see that on many of these. Most of them come with the dual 95 gallon live wells. So I mean, either way, it's an option. And then there's also a couple other configurations you can do as well. And then under that big hatch right there, we've got a really nice layout. We've got accessibility to everything for service. In this particular case here, we've got the sea keeper in there. We've got our fuel manifolds and we've got everything we want to get to, including our shore power cord and everything, right? Absolutely, yeah. Very serviceable, very clean. It's got a great yacht-like finish in there. Awesome. And then also, if we're talking New England, we're definitely talking fishing. So now we've got fish boxes on both sides here, right? Yeah, absolutely. And they do come with cold plates in them. So, you know, you can run ice in there, but you also have the cold plates help keep that ice cold all day. And of course, you can't have a big center console without having a party space. Even if you are going to be fishing it, you still want to have a nice space. So we've got uh, options here on this one, right? We can do ice boxes, we can do grills, blenders, all that kind of stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's very customizable. This one's kind of a basic summer kitchen, but um, you know, you get your refrigerator, pull out refrigerator, you get your sink and then you can opt for, you know, a blender, an espresso machine. You can throw a grill over here. You can kind of do whatever you want. But even with that summer kitchen for entertaining, you still have your, your pull-out tackle storage. Just, you know, so the boat can really do it all. You can party on Saturday, fish on Sunday or vice versa. And I think you're hitting on a really key point on this boat as we kind of walk through it is this is a yacht center console. Oh, you absolutely. can go ahead and add the custom touches that you want for your needs absolutely. for their customer, right? Yeah, the boat's fully customizable. I mean, there's a lot of suggested options, but HCB is the type of builder where they'll really work with you if you're willing to do something special. And then HCB, obviously, they're doing their own tops, their own towers, and all that stuff on here as well, right? Yeah, absolutely. So everything on the boat is fabricated in-house, and um, they add a lot of really cool touches. Like, as you can see, the piping is all integrated into the T-top. You have your speakers worked into the T-top as well. Bunch of lighting, down lighting, courtesy lighting. Um, then another really cool feature that I want to highlight on the T-top is... Uh, an integrated freshwater shower. So, you know, you're at the sandbar, you're at the beach, whatever, you're hanging out, you're swimming, you come in through the dive door right here, and you come right over, you can take a freshwater shower here in the car. So a nice freshwater rinse down. Absolutely. For guys in New England and the yards, make sure you winterize that one up there. People are gonna forget about that one. Absolutely. We've got a nice JL audio package on this boat with the Lux speakers here, so they blend in really nice, give it a nice clean, more of that yacht finish look, right? Absolutely, yeah. All right, so then as we come into here, into our sleigh seating area, if you will, your rear sleigh seating, you've got your seating back here that you're still tucked in, so you're kind of out of the weather if it's a little sporty or a little snotty, right? Yeah, absolutely. Let me opt for the aft wind blocker on this one. This is kind of a cool option. It really cuts down on the wind noise while you're running at high speeds, helps keep the music and everything in your, <laughs> in your main area right here right and then we've got obviously our seating here we've done three across seating yeah, so uh, on this home chairs and then um, another cool feature about these is the outer ones pivot so oh, if okay you, if you have your lines out or whatever you want to be more involved in the cockpit social space you can undo a latch underneath and these boats these these seats will just pivot right around so that's you can awesome face the other way socializing fishing yeah flip this down put your feet up here watch the lines <laughs> it's great it's an awesome it's an awesome little feature that's awesome. And then on this one, again, we've got a really nice clean helm. Obviously, we've got the carbon fiber wheel on there. Absolutely. We've got a trio of the Garmin displays. And then I think they do something really slick with their switches right there. If you yeah. flip that little latch up. So you've got all of your switching on both sides, but it just really clean simple easy helm uh on this one here so it makes it for a nice touch you don't have those switches blinding you at night when you're running the boat oh, um the other really slick feature here is 
New England. We put wings on our boats here for our canvas. Now, they've got it built in on this one right here. You guys see this kind of built in right there. It's in the open position right now and on the side window as well. And there's still glass in there yeah, in the actual cool. window itself is still there. So now you've got, instead of having to have canvas wings and figure out what you're going to put them and where you're going to do with it, you've got that ability right there to go ahead and set those things up there. You know, it's a wind break, but it's also a really good splash curtain break for you. I mean, this is a big boat. You're not going to be getting that wet on it, but it is a nice feature to be able to have on there. Yeah, that's a newer feature with HGB, and I honestly think, especially for our market, they really knocked it out of the park with that. You don't see that on any other boat, so it really is special. And then talking about just hardware and some of the other nice things, we see we've got the uh, the Gem Lux here for the outriggers and all that. So again, keeping in mind that this is all high end, this is yacht-like finishes and yacht-like features on here. Uh, this frigid ridge it's throughout on this boat. You see there's another cooler box actually, uh, refrigerated one right there as well, matching on both sides. Again, with the JL audio system right there, you see again, going with those Lux speakers like we've talked about in the past, really gives a nice clean. They kind of blend into the background. They're not the forefront of everything and then why don't we go ahead let's walk up to the front and let's yeah, talk about kind of what we've got going on up front there and uh what we have for features as we make our way front you see there's the other frigid rigid you see this really nice upholstery all the way through here and as we come up front we've got a really nice seating area as i make my way up here we'll let paul kind of tell us a little bit more about it yeah so we we have our beautiful lounger here with dual cup holders uh it's contoured to fit your body so it's a really comfortable place to run Obviously, as you can see, there's Bentley stitching throughout. Um, and then even here on the loungers, we have removable backrests. So you can pull these out if you want more space, but honestly, they're a great place or a great feature to have when you're running. You can lean up against this, lay your feet out. Then in the middle here, you get your up-down table. That's on an electric actuator. So I can drop this all the way down to the floor if you don't want to see it. I can have it, you know, level with the cushions to make a big sun pad, or you can bring it up and use it as an entertaining space, cocktails, wine and cheese, whatever you want. So you've got a lot of good options for socializing up here. And I think it's kind of important to note on this lounger up front here is it's got a nice curve to it. So you're in it. You're Absolutely. not just sitting on top of it. You're actually kind of in that seating right there, which yeah, is really, really nice. Yeah, it's got a great contour. It's a really comfortable place to run. And as we look from the front here, you can see what we're talking about with those side uh, panels that bump out right there. And then let's talk a little bit about down below, down yeah, in the, down in the uh, you know, cabin. As we get on more of these center consoles, right, we've got a ton of space on these things. So we'll go ahead, we'll open this one up here and slide it in. We'll slide on down there. So on this boat, we have a full berth, obviously. Again, you know, the center pieces are removable, sim similar to like the bow. You can pull these center pieces out, put a table there, sit around it and have a meal. You know, if you want to get out of the heat or out of the cold, you got air conditioning and heat down here, fully enclosed. Still plenty of light with all the hatches and everything. Yeah. So you get some airflow. Absolutely. Over here, you have a little kitchenette, you know, a sink. You can opt for a microwave and a bunch of other things on this boat. You have a TV here, which is great. And then another cool feature about this boat, you don't see it on a lot of boats this size, is a separate head shower. That is a ton of room in there. And it keeps it all dry. Everything out from the main cabin area here then stays dry yeah and absolutely i mean there's a ton of headroom down here as well i'm six two and i have plenty of room so no question about that. very very spacious and again we look at all these nice features on here we've got storage everything's really nice it's to the finish you would expect for a boat like this absolutely um now talking about a boat like this everybody's going to of course ask what is what's a retail price point for this boat right here as it sits yeah sticker on this one's a little over one five okay i'm um, running a great deal at the show here so come see us Awesome. Hey, man, thank you very much for your Thanks, time. Guys. Appreciate and, it. And uh, nice meeting you. Awesome. We will, uh, you want to know more about them? Give them a follow, Flying Bridge Marine. You guys got your stuff on there, right? Yeah, we got Instagram and all the socials, Facebook. We got a website. Check out the website and, uh, you know, give us a call. Awesome. Cool. Well, that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, make sure to give us a follow, like, subscribe, share, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, at Navtronics. We'll see you guys at the show. Peace.